Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we'll discuss about how to set up a CPM floor for some of the major header bidding ad networks that we run. CPM floors are very important, not just to increase or tighten the competition within the header bidding auction, but at the same time, it's a way for us to eliminate low paying ads that are usually the cost or the source of all these pop-ups, redirects. Let's start with Sovereign. When you log into your Sovereign account, navigate to the Ad Tag section and search for the Ad Tag that you want to edit here or set the floor on. Or just go ahead and edit here. CPM floor can be found right here. So you can go ahead and say 20 cents if you want to and go ahead and save it. Next for triple lift, once you're logged in, go to placement management. You can search for the placement you wanna edit or you can go ahead and click one here on the list. And here you can see reserve price, that's basically your floor. So you can go ahead and say 20 cents and make sure it's activated and of course hit submit. District M, once you're logged in, go to tags head or header endpoint integration and then here you can filter the relevant ad tags that you want to edit or you can click on this gear icon directly once you have located the relevant tag and you can go ahead and set the floor here or target cpm as they call it and just go ahead and save the floor for Sunobi, you can go ahead and navigate to Site Management, go to Pricing Floors, and then you can create a new floor. And you can also visit Floor Analysis just in case they have their own recommendations. When you click New Floor, give it a name, and set the floor price here. Let's say you want 20 cents. Set your start date and your end date. If you want to target all advertisers and all buyers, just skip it. And then if you want to target specific site, sizes, location, device, and all other stuff, if you skip all of them, it will default to all settings or all of your inventory. And then you just click Create Floor once done. And of course, don't forget, if this is a specific placement that you want to target or you want to separate or you have a different set of floors for each placement, then you can go ahead and select the specific placement here before you click Create Floor. For Index Exchange, you can go ahead and say Control Inventory, select Floors, and then here you can click on Set Floor Rate if you want it per placement, tier, site tag, select the relevant option. If you want it by site tag, then select by site tag. And then you can say 20 cents, for example, what's your floor type? And we would normally do master and status is hard. And then you select the relevant inventory here on which specific site tag it will apply to. And again, if you forgot to select one here, it will apply to all of your inventory. And then once done, you just click update. Next, we have Rubicon. For Rubicon, once you log in, go to RTB controls under inventory. You have to click new rule, give it a name, and then we would normally just select standard unless you also want to do preferred. I, I believe this is an equivalent to preferred deals. So we do standard, set it to high, set your CPM floor here. We normally keep dynamic checked and set the date when you want it to start. And of course, if you don't specify sites, zones, and sizes, it will default to all your inventory targeting. And then once you're done, just go ahead and save it. All right, so the rest of the bidders can be set in the header bidding wrapper through their adapters or their parameters. So the ones we have discussed today, these are the bidders that can be set through their user interface.
But you have to remember when setting CPM floors that you have to closely monitor your fill rate because remember the higher your floor, the more restriction there is in terms of the number of buyers or advertisers that's eligible to bid on your traffic. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.